everyone, Happy New Year, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about a topic which is really important to me and that is mental health and being a student in university. Um, as some of you might know, if you're close to me in real life, I suffer from um, various types of anxiety and depression. Um, I've suffered from different types of anxiety since I was nine years old and I was diagnosed with depression when I was 15, so I mean that was a sophomore in high school. And actually my depression is the reason why I took a year out um, between the last year of high school and the first year of university. So that's why I was 19 when I started university as opposed to 18. And this was actually really, really good for me. Like I, looking back on it, I am so glad that I took that year out. So I'm doing so much better now than if I had gone to university while my mental health was so bad. So basically today I want to talk about keeping yourself healthy in terms of you know, your mental health while studying at university and being a student. Um, I think one really important thing is before moving away from home, if that is like the route that you're choosing, I think it's really good to have some kind of support system in place, whether that's you know, a boyfriend you can talk to, your best friend, someone online, your mom and dad, just having someone or a few people there that know you really well and know what's going on for you, that you can turn to when you're in university, either message them or call them, Skype them, basically someone um, at home who knows you really well, um, but that can help you and that understands. Because um, this has been really, really helpful for me, either to just Skype my family if I'm not doing well, I can message my girlfriend, you know, I have friends that know what my mental health is like and I can be relatively honest and open with them when I'm not doing well and that really helps when someone says, hey, how are you doing? And you can really be honest and say, you know, not good as opposed to, yeah, college life is great. Um, that's been really helpful for me. Another thing that I did before moving to university is when I applied, I made it very obvious that I do suffer from various mental illnesses and this enabled me to be classified as a disabled student at my school here in the UK. So basically that means that if I wanted to, there are different um, types of help that I could take advantage of here. I haven't yet, um, but just knowing that I have those options available to me is really important. Um, so if you can look into the, those options, that's a really um, helpful thing I found. And I get emails from like the disabled program here at my school just saying, you know, we're having this kind of day, we're having this kind of support systems being put in place and I can, um, you know, star those emails and keep them for future reference. Another helpful thing that I found is as soon as I moved to university, I registered at the clinic here on campus. And so I recommend either doing something similar to that, or if you don't have a clinic on campus, registering with a local GP, or I'm not sure what it's called in the States, but here, GP here, and in Ireland it's GP. Um, and so I registered, like I think the second day I was here at uni, and I immediately got an appointment and just went in and I, you know, got to know my GP a little, I explained the different things that I have going on and I also gave them my prescription because I'm on medication and that way I can just go in um, every month and I can just fill in a piece of paper and they will refill my prescription for me, they gave me a piece of paper and I just go into town and I pick up my medicine, it's as simple as that. Um, so I think that having a relationship with your GP on campus or in your local area and being registered as soon as possible is also really helpful. Another thing we have here on campus is kind of a mental health team. It's really important, I guess they stress that they're not supposed to um, be, you know, a psychologist, a psychologist or a psychiatrist for you. They're not supposed to replace that. They're basically just someone that you can go and talk to um, and that can put you in the right direction. You know, they can say, oh, go to your GP and discuss medication or, you know, find a therapist in the area. And I've gone to them and again, just to explain the different things that I have going on also in terms of like my gender identity and my questioning because I really want to um, find a gender therapist this year. So if you also, if your school has something like that on campus, that's really helpful. And I recommend checking in with them, either just finding a good next set of steps to take um, 
or just letting them know like hey I'm mentally ill I'm a student here on campus and just you know being registered with them as well um, another thing I find really helpful is um, well I've actually never used it but the idea of it for me is really helpful um, it's groups online that work like a hotline except you can message them and for me I've never had to use it but knowing that they exist is just nice for me because the idea of calling a hotline is terrifying for me because I have social anxiety so a hotline would be terrible for me and I'm sure other people with social anxiety and like telephone phobias as well so knowing that out there there's strangers who will listen to me if I just want to send them a message it is comforting um, because again hotlines terrify me so I'll find the link to that or links to various groups like that and I'll put them in the description box if that's helpful um, and I think one last tip is say if you are transgender like me or LGBTQ or disabled um, look for societies um, on campus which cater to students like that or are social groups for students like that um, and join them and I think that's a really good way to get to know people who are um, you know questioning their gender identity or disabled so they might have mental illnesses similar to yours and getting to know like just kind of having a sense of solidarity and knowing that you're not alone you're not the only student on campus who is depressed you're not the only one who suffers from gender dysphoria so I think that's been really helpful for me as well both you know it can kind of be a nice distraction I can just go and hang out and you know laugh with people and kind of forget about things like that or if we're having discussions about mental health particularly that's really helpful because it does kind of create a sense of solidarity and comfort in knowing that you're not alone and that there, that there will be people who are very open to discussing things like mental illness um, amongst university students. So I hope this was helpful for someone out there and enjoyable for someone out there. This is a topic which is really important to me both because I suffer from various mental illnesses and because I'd like to be some kind of therapist in the future. That's why I am taking sociology actually. So thank you so much for watching and taking your time out of your day to listen to me. So thanks for watching Rowan's Ramblings. See you again soon. Bye.